Graham Wack had an excellent day with both bat and ball to put Glamorgan into a winning position with a day to go of their LV County Championship match with Essex at the Swalek Stadium in Cardiff. The visitors lost Ryan Tenderscarter in the seventh over of the penultimate morning of this game. Craig Mishada finding the edge of his bat to have him on his way for 49. That left Essex on 201 for five in reply to their host 314 and it started a horrible collapse. Wag's wonderful day began when debutant Callum Taylor drove his very first ball of the day to Michael Hogan at mid-on, the 17-year-old on his way for 26 after adding three to his overnight tally. Wag struck again in the same over, a delicious delivery which had Graham Napier nicking off before he'd trouble the scorers. Wag had picked up only one wicket in his 10 overs on the previous evening, but here he had three in 11 deliveries when Kishen Villani was bowled for a dozen. From 201 for four and looking as if they would get a first innings lead, Essex slipped to 221 for nine when Adil Malik went after Mishada but miss hit to Hogan. And in just eight overs since Tender Scarter was dismissed, the visitors were all out as Wag picked up the 11th five-wicket haul of his career when Jamie Porter was flummoxed. Wag had figures of five for 54. His analysis on this day, four for seven from 2.3 overs. It meant that Essex, having lost their last six wickets for 20 runs, were all out for 221 to trail by 93 runs. 16 more were added to that before Jacques Rudolph edged Porter to Nick Brown to go for seven. Eight wickets fell in a morning session which had certainly pushed this game on. James Kettlebury the last to go as he was taken at short leg of David Masters. The trend continued after the break too. Will Bragg giving the accurate Masters his latest LBW to go for 13. And when Chris Cook was undone by a ball he would have needed a shovel to keep out, Glamorgan had slipped to 38 for four for a lead of 131. If there were going to be many more deliveries like that, then the Welshman probably already had enough runs on the board. Thankfully, it was a rarity, and that meant that Mark Wallace could make good progress to keep his team in the box seat as they look to win for the first time in this four-day summer. At the other end, Colin Ingram decided that the best approach was to be positive, and that he certainly was. His aggressive intent helping add 40 runs for the fifth wicket as his side began to put themselves possibly out of reach against a side which, after an amazing run of wins, were in danger of a second successive defeat. Ingram wasn't going to go down blocking and this pull off Porter had enough on it to send the ball to Tender Scarter in the deep, Ingram on his way for 31. In spite of that loss, the runs kept on coming at a real lick. Wallace on his way to a runner ball half century, which included this six off Napier. Wag, meanwhile, simply had one of those days an all-rounder dreams about. He was given licence to play some shots as those above him in the order had done. Wag, who'd made 47 in the first innings before bagging his latest five-wicket haul, put back to ball with very good effect. The pressure that had been building after the loss of those four early wickets had been relieved by Wallace, and that allowed Wag to enjoy himself as he and his former captain added 98 runs for the sixth wicket, by the end of which Glamorgan had a lead on the board of 269. Wag fell in the 40s for the second time in the match, Napier finding some extra pace to bowl the former Derbyshire player for 43 at 176 for six. More runs were still required for Glamorgan to feel a little safer and Mercedes supplied some more quick ones. He had to go on without Wallace, who was legged before to Adil Malik, but only after he'd pulled his side clear with a fine knock of 79. The tail worked well for Glamorgan, Mercedes another, having a fine match, making 31, before he glanced Napier too fine into the gloves of James Foster behind the stumps. Malik then took a return catch to remove David Lloyd, who was batting with a runner, for 10, leaving it to the last pair of Andrew Salter and Hogan to play some shots, it remains to see just how important this last wicket stand of 30 was, but it meant that Essex were left with a sizeable hill to climb if they were going to avoid defeat in this contest. Hogan hold out to long off off Malik, Glamorgan settling for a total of 270. The runs coming at a shade under five per over throughout, 200 being scored in the middle session alone, Napier's 11 overs costing 75 runs. 
Essex then were left with a target of 364 in 117 overs. They lost both their openers before the close. Who else but Wad got the wicket of Nick Brown? Before Jake Mickelbrook was superbly stumped by Wallace off Salter. A great example of the art of keeping from the 33-year-old, a man who possibly sleeps in his pads and gauntlets. It's worth looking at a second time, such was the skill. Daniel Lawrence and night watchman Porter were able to see out the final few minutes, meaning that Essex will go into the final day on 51 for two, needing a further 313 runs for a second win of the championship summer. They enter the day with it all to do.